Hello, this is Tanya from Tinkerin' in Ink with Tanya, and I wanted to do a quick video on how to make this background that looks kind of like Northern Lights. This is a watercolor technique, um, splash, splatter technique, you could call it anything. Today I'm calling it the Northern Lights technique. I made this card for a blog hop in November sometime, and there was some interest in how I made this background, so we're going to do that today. I'm starting out with a piece of watercolor paper. This happens to be Canson. You can use whatever brand you want. Um, this is a 140 pound cold press. Stampin' Up! has a wonderful uh, watercolor paper also. And this is some painter's tape. I have two widths. This is just the one I happen to grab um, by taping it down to your board, whether it be a cutting board or a piece of MDF like I have here any of those things it helps prevent the paper from warping which is nice when you go to put your card on your or your watercolor piece on your card and it isn't terribly warped this these are a couple of ones I had done earlier and then I'm using Blackberry Bliss and Night of Navy inks and we'll start with the Blackberry Bliss and because if I pounce on the table it's going to wiggle everything. I'll pick this up and hold it and I kind of do an X shape or a Y shape when I'm doing this. And I always take a piece of watercolor paper larger than I'm going to need so I can trim it down to a size that fits my paper. and I can pick which part that I like the best because this is not a greatly controlled technique. All right, now it's gonna look like I'm gonna cover up all that purple, but I'm not. It's, it'll show through, I promise. This isn't terribly different than a lot of other like distress type techniques. Lots of navy blue on here. Night of Navy. And you can still see there's areas of white peeking through. That's okay. I think. I'm just about ready to go to the next step. <clears throat> All right. Now I'm going to take my spritzer. I have one that I labeled water, which is some washi tape. And I always have this on my desk. I have one with alcohol too. All right, here we go. It's going to look like a hot mess. But you can see those colors becoming more vibrant and mixing together. Now I'm going to pause the recording here oops, and dry this with my heat tool. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back and it's dry. And now I need to decide which way I want to do the spatters. Do I want to do them this way or that way? I might be able to get two cards out of it if I go up and down. Hmm. Let's, I don't know, I think I'm going to go this way, just because. So I'm just taking a watercolor paintbrush. You can take whatever you want. You can use even probably the aqua painter. What you want to do is load your brush up with lots of water here, and you're just going to spatter. You want Your goal is to get big, gloppy, up-and-down type splashes. So that's what I'm aiming for here. And then I'm going to take a rag and blot up that water. You're going to see it pick up some of that color. Now we've got lots of splatters. I just want a few more. Nice big ones. Those are little. Okay, now let's try that again. Every time you do this, it's going to be different. 
Now you think it still doesn't look like this one. Yeah, it's got the different colors. You know, I want to join some of these a little more, so I'm going to just directly apply some lines here. That helped a little bit. Okay. Now I want to soften that look because it looks very stark, the difference between where I sponged and spritzed and then when I spattered. So I'm going to take my Knight of Navy and sponge across to soften it up again. And that's pretty much it. Um, I do recommend that when you peel your tape your tape off of your paper that you pull it as a at a diagonal otherwise you're going to end up taking some of your watercolor paper off you'll peel it off with the paint the tape painter's tape there that's what I was looking for all right now if you want more information on the particular card that I showed at the beginning you can go back, go to my blog and get more details on that. Um, hope you enjoyed this video. And if you'd like to see more or have a particular technique in mind that you'd like me to show, please let me know. Thank you.